Welcome to another AV Properties house tour. and welcome to another AV Properties house tour. Together, we will explore this enchanting brand new two-story property with a beautiful facade and an even more enchanting interior inside. So before we go inside the property and start the house tour, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties' official YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official for all of our fresh listings. My name is Apple Grace and guys, let's go follow me. I'm super excited to show you everything. But let's take a moment first to appreciate how beautiful the facade is. Look at that. You have your natural stone claddings from the second floor and that goes down up to this part of the facade and the perimeter of the property and going up the porch and then it has this reflective window glasses that's really beautiful and now guys let's go it's about time to start this welcome to your elevated porch so which way are we going here let's check out your two car covered carport and then you have your cabinetry here so you can um, stuff all of your car things <laughs> all right so after that one guys i'll be walking you or leading you through your side garden this is your first side garden it has uh, rare fruit bearing trees and right now we can see sprouts and a fruit okay so again uh, it's a paved pathway you can also use this one as a sitting area when you're hanging out with your friends and you don't want them to be invited inside maybe okay so now let's go and Head on to your lanai. So this platform can be designed or styled with a little couch, maybe a coffee table. So it's up to you how you wanna, you know, dress up this space. And now I'll lead you to another part of the house. So again, it's landscaped and it has frog grass. Okay, so not just carabao. Follow me as I show you your gated service or laundry area so it goes as deep as the other side of the property but let me just show you so you have your uh, laundry area and then you have your cleaning spot right here so we're spotting some calamansi Ayan. so i believe this would be the perfect spot for drying your clothes and then we have an access to the inside but that's for later so here we stop okay so it's mini gated again but I want to show you more. Let's go. Okay, so again, landscaped. And then you have your ornamental plants that serves as a great design and something that suits the vibe and the feel of the entire house. So here we are. Nice, right? So it's an open, the property sits right in the middle. Okay, now let's go and go back to the main entryway. Nice. I mean, take a look at that. The reflective windows. Welcome to the main entry area. So again, to make the look seamless from the facade going into your property or the house itself, you will also still see these are natural stonewall claddings. Guys, would you agree that this house has that classical look with a touch of Mediterranean? Yes? Let me know in the comment section below. So let's make our way inside the house and let's surprise ourselves. So this is a double entry uh, door and this one is made of mahogany. Let's go! Wow! Welcome to your grand foyer. Look how pristine white and beautiful it is. So yes, think about the ways that you can jazz this uh, space even more because this is the first thing that you'll be seeing upon entering the house, right? So you have your CCTV cameras, there's eight of them all throughout the entire house. And then you have your wooden frames, 
really nice. And look at that beautiful chandelier. Oh, it's like an entry to the hotel, right? So now guys, let me lead you to where your living area is. Let me just take a breather and appreciate how beautiful this is. So you have your double height ceiling and again, hotel feels, right? These are customized furniture and then the focal point when you're sitting here is this beautiful cladding. So this is such an eye candy. This is the center of attention and attraction. And as you look up, you have your three beautiful starlight drop chandelier. And again, reminds you of your stays in the hotel. And then you have your air conditioning units. There's about eight or nine of them all throughout the house. then let me move into underneath the stairs so this space right here um, amongst the houses that we have visited they usually style this one up with a zen garden like an indoor zen garden so you could set up um, natural stones here maybe there's um, like an accent waterfall so there's water element inside and it adds to that tropical vibe right you think guys it's gonna go well with the classic design of the house well let me know in the comment section so this door right here is very inviting so we're gonna check out the first bedroom on the first floor so this is the first one out of four bedrooms okay let's check out the toilet and bath nice oh. okay so you have um white tiles and then you will not miss the gold trimmings all throughout the house. So it adds to that luxurious feel, right? So it's a great combination of white, gold, and wood. Very traditional, but still it has that modern feel to it. So now, here is where the bed will be. So you have your cabinets here for your clothes and more. Overhead, you have your vanity. Imagine it, how it would look like. Let us know in the comment section. All right, so first bedroom is done. Now, let me show you how gorgeous the dining area is. Look at this. Again, everything is customized to the liking of the seller, but of course, you could, you know, add your personal touches to it. Guys, let me just have a touch of this. So this is um, like a very expensive wallpaper. So it has a veneer finish like feel and then it even looks better in person i'm not sure if our video is uh, doing it justice so let me just sit here or stand here take a moment to imagine that you're having your dinner your meals with your family and then looking to this side you have a view of the greens the trees and look at that it's windy right so it saves you up electricity you don't have to turn on the AC anymore at certain times of the day. And then on this side, you have your display area. So whenever you have family gatherings, you have friends over, this could be a spot for your for the food, right? Let me know what you think. And then after the dining area, here we are, so a few steps away is the mini bar. So what I love about this is it's very inviting. Again, you'll see the gold trimmings for the shelves. This could be a perfect spot for your wine or your liquors. And you have more um, storage of space overhead. And then, yeah, really nice, right? So guys, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking like, oh, if I buy this house, I'd be inviting friends over every weekend and enjoy. After the bar area with this beautiful track light, I'll be taking you to the full bath. So this is a powder room with a shower area. So again, this house has four bedrooms and five bedrooms all in all. So you have your floating vanity, you have your 
water closet with a bidet, your vanity mirror, and an enclosed shower area with a shower niche for all of your toiletries. Nice, right? So let me close this golden knob. And then you have an access to where your service and laundry area is. And this spot right here is what we call your official prep area. So all the countertops are all made of granite. And this one is a waterfall counter. You have a lot of drawers and storage for all of your, mm, your grocery stuff, everything that you need. And you have your, here is a uh, stainless steel sink with a movable faucet head. And then guys, look at this. I mean, the play of colors, it's really, it's classic. And it's something that's never going to go out of style, even with the changing trends in interior design. Right? What do you guys think? All right. So now, I'll be taking you to your auxiliary kitchen so this is where the action happens so the show kitchen is just for show and for prepping maybe it's up to you so this is where everyone cooks okay so it's equipped with a techno gas um, range hood and a techno gas cooktop and an oven and this is something that i want to show you guys as well so by the double sink this one is equipped with a waste or food grinder or disposer para iwas bara, right? That's a real pain in the ass, if you ask me. And of course, it's equipped with CCTV and an air conditioning unit. So when you're cooking and prepping, you won't be sweating all the small stuff. So I think we're done with the entire first floor. Now, let's go and check out how the master bedroom and the family area looks like. Let's go. <sighs> High ceiling. It's like we're living in a castle. Look how beautiful this house is. I mean, imagine when there are pictures and videos of debutantes they were going, out, going up and down the grand staircase. So, this is the feels that this grand staircase gives you. Wow. Okay, we're stepping on Akasha slabs and the hand railings too are made of Akasha with tempered glass. Now guys, again, we always do this when the ceiling is so high. Let's take a look at the people below. Look how beautiful the view is and of course the drop chandeliers that look like stars in the sky when you look at it up close. Okay, enough with that one. Alright, I'll be taking you to the far end of the handrail so I can have a good look of this. Customized wall cladding with gold trimmings. Look how unique it is. I mean, I'm not sure if there's been a house that we've featured with this kind of cladding. This one's unique and this one's a first, right? Okay, so you see or you will be seeing four cabinets like this one. So there's two on the other side. So initially, the seller of this house thought of this as a bookshelf. But then again, he thought, okay, we're gonna be selling the house, so let's just enclose this one and let the new owners decide what to do with this. So if you were him, would you keep this one open or enclosed? Okay, so now guys, let me show you the first bedroom on the second floor. So technically, this is bedroom number two. Wow, look at that. With the space of this um, first bedroom, it actually feels bigger thanks to the white walls and the great color palette of your cabinetry. So this one blends really well with white and yeah, it has that neutral muted earth color or palette that feels very warm yet cool and fun. 
even if it's a little bit traditional. So now, let's check out how different the toilet and bath looks from the first bedroom. So as you can see, the tiles are uniform and then you have your um, rain head shower or shower head. I always get this one mixed up. And then you have a floating sink and water closet, bidet, everything that you need, okay? And then after bedroom number two, let's go and see what bedroom three looks like. Oopsie, let me just take a moment, please. Picture, this is such an IG or Instagrammable back wall. Don't you guys agree? <laughs> All right, now let's check out bedroom number two. So this is what I would call a junior master suite with its size and its features. You have one, two, three, four, five, six cabinet doors and more overhead. So you won't be, you know, there's not gonna be a problem with your stuff, even if you're a big hoarder. And then it comes with this really nice and luxurious um, bed frame. So all you have to do is buy your mattress. And then you get to enjoy your very own vanity right here. You have your a chair for you, and then you have your floating drawer. That's gonna lead us to the junior uh, junior master suite toilet and bath. Again, the presence of the gold trimmings makes everything look and feel very elegant. And the pristine white, it's like everything that comes in here will not come out dirty, right? Okay. So, after bedroom two, or technically bedroom three, I'll be walking you to the, <laughs> um, the cabinet doors that I mentioned earlier before entering bedroom number one. So again, it's up to you how you want to use this. Could be enclosed, could be open and bare with your book um, collection. All right, so here we are in what we call the family hall or family room or could be like a great entertainment space for you. So there's a sofa, but if you wanna place this sofa right here, yeah, you get to decide guys when you purchase this property. So you have a television set. There's about eight, ah, four TVs all in all, all throughout the house. And you will enjoy watching a movie or listening to music because there's a piped-in audio system from the first floor that could be heard all throughout the house. So just connect your uh, connect it to through Bluetooth with your phone or the television. Nice, right? Okay, so what could be happening next? Guys, wait, we almost missed this one. So this part right here, they did not leave this one bare, so it's still a beautiful accent. So it's a cabinet. Maybe this spot is a, like a coffee nook. What do you think? It's up to you guys, how you wanna do it. Or maybe for drinking again. You could display your liquors and your wines and everything that makes you happy in this part of the house. So now, after bedrooms two and three, you know where you're next, right? The master bedroom. Let's go. Wow. This is such a big space, really, truly a master's bedroom or a master bedroom. Look at this beautiful accent for your um, bed frame. This is cushioned, so even if you bump your head, you're not gonna hurt yourself. And then it's framed by this beautiful reflective mirror. Look how beautiful it is from this angle. And then right above me, is this circular uh, chandelier. Again, it's an artwork or an art piece on its own. And what's also nice about, you know, staying in the master bedroom is you get to enjoy your personal access to the balcony. Oh, look how windy this spot is. Wow, we have a view of the greens. And what I love about this area is the wide, um, primary roads. I mean, I think this is a usual four lane outside, right? Nice. 
okay. And since you're not selfish to your family members, they can also access the balcony through this entryway. So this, if we enter this one, you'll be greeted in the entertainment room. So nice. Okay, we're done or almost done, but not quite. Guys, let's check out this intricately designed and beautiful master walk-in closet. Look at that. It feels like royalty here. Check out the gold trimmings, the golden knobs. And these are knobs that you don't see like regularly on some, you know, cabinet openers. So this is really unique. And look, you also have a storage space down below so it's exposed. You can easily find your stuff. Nice. Okay, so we're going to be checking out the toilet and bath. Okay, this really feels like you're checked in in a hotel. So you have a very spacious shower area. It's also enclosed. You have your, your awning windows for ventilation and the shower niche is divine. Wow. By the way, guys, before I forget, it's also enclosed by this glass enclosure. Just be careful. I think um, very security advice that I could give you, like put on a, a sticker right here so nobody would bump into the glass enclosure. So now I believe we're done with the entire house tour. So what's going to happen next? I'll be inviting you to the... Let me see. Let's go. This house tour has come to a glorious end. Now, before I let you go, let's do a quick rundown of the property details. This property sits on the 360 square meter lot area with a total floor area of 400 square meters. It has four bedrooms, five bath, two car carport, a landscape garden, piped in audio system, and a lot more. And again, before we let you go, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties official YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified whenever we drop our videos here on YouTube. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official. And if you want to see all of our property listings, please head on to www.avpropertiescorp.com. My name is Apple Grace and thank you so much for staying with us up until this point of the video and we would love to see you on the next ones. Bye!